What's going on guys? Got another video for you here today. Uh, I posted a build guide for my Chieftain Ignite um, explosive arrow build yesterday for the 3.23 uh, league that's going to drop on December 8th. And people were a lot of requests for me to make a guide on how to craft uh, my bow. Which is, uh, this is what we ended with here, so plus one to socketed, plus two to socketed bow gems, and then attack speed, uh, damage over time multiplier, and then crafted fire damage over time multiplier. So, there is a step up from this that gets very, very expensive, but the, the trade-off is not really enough so this is the bow that i ended up going with uh the only thing that you could add differently to this would be if you could somehow manage to use faceted fossils to get a plus one to socketed dex gems on top of socketed gems and plus two to socketed bow gems so that's really the only step up and and because our um explosive arrow is already a level 32 with this that's more than enough at about i went over it in my build guide but at about gem level 30 you know the the the, the damage curve goes up and up and up but once it hits 30 it starts to it still goes up but it starts to taper a little bit so um that would be the step up if you did some this is obviously not it this is just i, I did try making one but it didn't the juice wasn't worth the squeeze at the end of the day so uh, i ended up just staying with this and uh, if you're, I just want to preface with, if you're using elemental equilibrium, you absolutely do not want flat fire damage on this bow. It will brick your build. So if you are doing an ignite, uh, anything really that requires a bow and you're using elemental equilibrium, you do not want any flat fire damage anywhere on your build, let alone your bow. Uh, but let's go ahead and, and we'll get right into it. Uh, you know, I, this is the end of the league. There's only about a week left until the next league drop. So I went in and bought all the materials that I needed. Some of them were were far more expensive than they would normally be if you're crafting this uh, during the normal league. Sorry, got to chew in. Uh, but again, this is a fairly inexpensive craft for how good this bow really is. You can craft this. If you get really, really lucky, you can craft it for just, you know, four or five divines, uh, you know, with your base and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but let's just get right into it and, uh, and we'll see what we end up with. So what we're going to do is, number one, we want to quality it, right? And because we're using uh, quality does not increase physical damage, 1% increase attack speed per A quality, 24% quality is the most that you need uh, to get max advantage out of that enchant. If you get higher than that, it just makes linking, if you get 28% or above, it makes linking and socketing it a little bit easier. But we're going to shoot for 24. Uh, we just bought five for now, so hopefully this is enough to hit at least 24, and then we'll go from there, right? So, uh, and then again, the craft for that uh, enchant is fairly expensive. I believe it's 5,000 yellow. So, so that is one of the more expensive aspects of this build, and then perhaps the base. So you can either go with, or you have two options. You don't necessarily need a fractured base, but it just kind of makes it easier to cement one of those uh, suffixes in place while you're trying to get the other things. And uh, so you can either use attack speed or you can use the damage over time multiplier. Uh, we went attack speed on this one. We're going to try damage over time multiplier just to show you the process is exactly the same. As you can see, this is a suffix. This is a tier two. So obviously, if you can get tier one, that's better. Uh, and then again, attack speed is obviously a suffix. So we're going to try what we're going to try to do here is we're going to use shrieking essence of dread, which gives us the plus two to socketed bow gems. And you do not need to use the, uh, what are they, deafening essence, right? Because deafening essence of dread does not make it a plus three to bow gems. It stays plus two, so you can save a lot of currency just by using the, the shrieking essence as opposed to the deafening essences, right? So th these are much, much cheaper. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and start with quality. And we'll just do one at a time. Uh, 16... 26 okay so that's perfect right there we're just going to leave that as is and um and go from there so 26 again like i said earlier that is enough to get the max attack speed uh because the only 24 percent uh quality is what's needed to max out that enchant if we could get another two quality out of it it would just be slightly easier to link as far as the odds are concerned whether it is easier or not you never know i guess um so 
now that we have that all set up and we have our quality, what we're going to do is we're just going to start hitting this with the Shrieking Essences until we get a, an attack speed that we're happy with, right? So as you can see, it forces on the plus two to socketed, and we're just going to keep going until we hit attack speed. Um, and sometimes it takes a while, so there's 11%. That's tier three. I think, you know, for the sake of this, we don't necessarily need to go tier one, uh, but we will go with uh, um, tier two and we'll, we'll stay with that. But as you can see here, this, you know, has a huge fizz roll, blah, 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 crit strike multi, but that flat fire damage right there, that's what I was talking about earlier in the video. You absolutely cannot have that on your build. You can have lightning and you can have cold because that'll help you proc your elemental equilibrium. And you don't necessarily need it. I have cold on gloves and then I have lightning on uh, quiver. But if you were to hit it here, you could just replace one of these lines with cold or lightning depending on, on which one you hit. So, see, so there's 12% attack speed. That's tier 3. We're going to keep going. And uh, attack speed does hit fairly often. Um, I honestly think that it, it might hit more often, or it felt like it hit more often than the damage over time multiplier. But, um, you know, I, I could be wrong about that. And you guys, I'm sure, will let me know uh, in the comments down below. So, and what, you know, there, there's multiple different ways to achieve your goal. But ideally, we can slam on plus one socketed gems for free. So that's the easiest one to not have on our bow, right? Like sometimes it will hit and you'll get lucky and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but um, really the attack speed is, is what we're looking for here. It doesn't want to give us a good one. But hopefully one will hit sooner rather than later. Where are you? attack speed there's 11 percent uh, we have a fair amount we're going to keep going we might stick with tier three uh just for the sake of the crafting video um so that i don't have to go buy any more of these but um we'll see what we can do here t1 is that t1 fizz oops not uh, tier two nothing special but it's always nice to hit it we don't need it for this but and now, uh, you know what, I'll go ahead and bring up two for Explosive Arrow. Uh, as you can see here, this has bow attacks, fire an additional arrow. I'm sure you, some of you are going to ask why I roll over that. Uh, but it, there, there's, I, I think that there's a, there's a bit of an argument to be had about bow attacks, fire additional arrow with this, just simply because, yes, you have more arrows, but what's going to happen is it's going, the arrows are going to fork, right? So if you have a boss standing there and your arrows are forking, if you're not close to it, there's a chance that none of the bows actually hit your target. So really, a, a, a additional arrow doesn't do much for you on, um, on this build in particular. Okay, so here we go. So we have uh, physical damage, again, doesn't do anything for us, doesn't matter. Uh, tier 3 attack speed, that's fine. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and stick with that just for the sake of the video. Obviously, if you were crafting this for your end game build, you're going to want to go ahead and try for tier 1. That's going to add a lot of attack speed. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll go ahead and try to just get that fizz off. We lost it, so we're going to keep going. You could leave the fizz too, like if you're hurting for money, uh, you can always leave the fizz. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, and uh, it, it won't hurt or help you really at all. You know, obviously, unless you were doing some sort of physical convert or something like that. Then, uh, then it might help, but otherwise... Okay, so we are out of essences, so we're going to go get some more, and I will be right back. All right, and so we're back now. We have more Shrieking Essence of Dread, so we'll go ahead and just get back to business and wait until we can hit uh, attack speed. And again, we'll probably just stick with... Uh, there we go. So, now, so that does have physical on it. So that does not really matter. Obviously, it's not ideal, uh, but it doesn't hurt us, right? If it was fire damage, that would hurt us. So again, for the sake of this video, we're just going to go ahead and uh, keep crafting onto this, right? So what this will allow me to do now is we can guaranteed slam on uh, plus one to socketed gems. And the way you go about doing that is you put this in the crafting bench and you 
go cannot roll attack modifiers right so this is what we want here because all of those flat damages and all that stuff uh, are attack modifiers so we'll block all of that throw that on and we'll just exalt slam it and boom we're guaranteed our plus one to socketed gems right so now we can put this back in and then go fire damage over time multiplier we hit 20 percent and there you go and again this is a little obviously this has flat fizz on it which does us no harm or no good it just kind of wastes a line so you could try to annul it off you could you know do some other stuff um you know from my understanding you are able to hit uh oh, poedb so we want to go modifiers bows and then so see, these are the options for everything that we could hit in, uh, you know, otherwise for as far as um, uh, prefixes go. So there's not really anything in here that benefits us. Like I said, again, a cold or a lightning would be nice. Uh, fire bricks are build. Fizz doesn't matter. F you know, fizz leeches life doesn't matter. Fizz damages mana. None of this matters. Chaos damage, etc. I mean, I guess chaos damage might do a little bit for you, uh, but it's not going to be anything crazy. The only thing, like I said, I'll keep reiterating just because of how important it is, is the only thing you cannot have on here is adds fire damage uh, to, to your weapon. Flat local fire damage. You don't want any local dam fire damage or any fire damage on hit. So I can't stress that enough. It's very, very important if you're using elemental equilibrium. Uh, and that is what it is. So as you can see, there's nothing really here that we can get on a fractured bow. You know, if you were using an influenced one and you didn't really want the fracture, there might be some other things in here that are that are nice for you and that would benefit the build. But otherwise, uh, there's nothing nothing really that great. So as you can see, now we're here. We have our bow, uh, and it looks pretty good. Like this is this will be pretty good damage. Uh, we can go in. Let's see if we can link it, socket it, and link it real quick. Everybody loves a good Lincoln, you know what I mean? Abraham Lincoln. Do not have a lot of... Alright, now that I'm doing it, we have to do it. So we're going to go just fucking buy our... Uh, jeweler's orbs. And try to get this thing socketed and linked. So obviously I have a million alterations, so we can just come in here and buy a bunch of these. And then we'll try to get this socketed up. Oh, I can't wait to blow out my clicker finger path drops. Everybody loves doing this, huh? Alright. There we go. Remember. Now, let's see, we got 2,200 of these. Let's see if we can get it all linked up. Remember when you used to be able to craft quality onto your bow and it would help you link it? You could have like 45 quality or whatever. It was crazy. I got rid of that real quick. It was a shame. But it is what it is, I suppose. Come on now. You know what the problem is? This is what you got to do. So you got to come in here. You got to send it on some chromes. We got two blue. You want to hit the intelligence right here. You know what? Now it's this one. Okay. Doesn't want to hit on int. So we're going to we're gonna strength it in. Brute force the link. You know what I mean? Plug it right into the red. You know what the problem is? So this is what you got to do. You got to hit it a couple times. Then you go back to the hideout. Now we do it. It'll hit right here. Ready? Three, two, one. Link! Link! Okay. We're going to waste 2,200. So that's already 1,000 fusings down. It's supposed to be 1 in 1,500. So this isn't really working out the way we want it to, but... Is this going to take all 2,200 fusings, man? Shit. Hmm. It's a lot. Should be, well, we're approaching 1,400 right there. Oh, there it is. Okay. So that was a lot of fucking fusings, boys, but it is what it is. 
All right, guys. So my bad. I wrapped the video before I accident before I actually put on the enchant. So you know now I can't actually do it. Uh, but what you would do is you would just drop this bad boy in here uh, in your in your hoarder crafting bench and craft on 1% increase attack speed per 8% quality. And as you can see, that adds a 3% local attack speed and you know is is really really nice. So that's that. Um, you know, I don't think I have enough juice to do it again. I do not. I only have 3,200. So we're obviously not going to do it to that one. Uh, but here's your bow, guys. This is the final bow. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, please let me know. Like and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. And, 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 and honestly, I learned a lot from you guys. So if you guys have a better way to do this or you've done it a different way in the past, please let me know down below. Um, I'll appreciate it. And everybody else in the comments will appreciate it. You know, I love making these videos, but in a lot of situations, you guys know more than me. That's just the bottom line. Uh, and I just like to make videos and, you know, share my, my information and stuff like that. So again, I really appreciate you guys. Um, leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.